I thought love was like buying someone like roses and like a box of chocolates on Valentine's Day. That's not love. Love is laying down your life for your brother and sister. And I'm beginning to, God is helping me realize more and more that for you to love, you need to be freaking courageous because you're going to give some and maybe never get it back. But that's okay because you love by Him and therefore you are on this pursuit and the goal is to become love. Which needs you to have a lot of courage at the end of the day because you're going to stretch out your hand and someone might not take it. But you don't be like, oh, I'm trying to help you. Father, forgive them for they did not know what they did. Because that's so and it takes you really know who you are and what you've been called for at the end of the day to be able to do that. And when you go in this book here, all right, this book, and you go open this book, I'm telling you right now, God is going to show you exactly what you need to do. Exactly. Exactly. Why? Because he actually wants that for you. He wants his, your success actually matters to God. It matters to you. And I went and I opened up this book over here. I got a prophetic word over my life in 2007. My mom took me to Hatfield Christian Church. These ladies or the uncle or whoever it was, they said, like, listen, God is going to show you through the word. And I opened up the book and God has been showing me exactly the things we need to do. There's certain scriptures when I read them, it's like they breathe so they've got a heart. For example, Jeremiah chapter 1. For before you, even in your mother's womb, I knew you. I set you apart to be a prophet unto the nations. But I read, oh Jesus, yeah, that, I think that's talking about me. <laughs> oh, that's me right there. Isaiah 61, verses 1 to 4. I see that. I, that's, 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 that's why I'm here on this earth. That's why I'm here. So, what are those scriptures for you as an individual? Because they're in here. They're in here. Remember, you guys, you obviously have been a part of um, God's vision, God's mission, where it's the voice, the voice of God equals the word plus the spirit of God. That is the voice of God. Why doesn't God speak to me? Because you are watching when the land is more than reading the Bible. Open this book and he'll show you mysteries that you've never seen before. Call unto him and seek him with your whole heart for you will find him. Ask him you will receive. Seek him you will find him. Knock and the door will be open.